and over and that's really not my problem. Something about that yeah. story. For the honor of magic. Please explain the meaning of the magic circles. Of course. The circles symbolize your share of the magic. They stand for knowledge, skill, and the learning of new magic spells. You must pass through each circle before you can join the next. Many hours of learning are required, and you'll need much experience to reach the higher circles. But your efforts to reach them will be rewarded with new and powerful spells each time. However, the circles of magic are more than that. They are part of your life. They will always be with you. Make them part of you. To understand their might, you need to recognize your own. I am ready to enter the first circle. To enter the first of the magic circles means learning to use magic runes. Each rune contains the structure of a special magic spell. By using your own magic powers, you'll be able to cast the magic of the rune. But in contrast to the magic scrolls, which are magic formulas as well, the magic power of the rune ensures that the structure of the spell endures. Every rune is a source of magic power, which you can fall back on any time. Your own magic power is used up when you use a rune, just as with a spell scroll. With every circle you enter, you learn to use further runes as well. Use the power of the runes to recognize yourself. I am ready to enter the second circle. You have learned to understand the runes. Now is the time to deepen this understanding. When you join the second circle, you will learn the foundation of stronger battle spells, and above all, the secret of healing. But you need to learn much if you want to recognize the true secrets of magic. You know that you can use every rune as often as you like, until you've used up all of your own powers. But before you act, think about the point of your actions. You have obtained powers with which you may easily conjure up death and destruction. But a true magician only uses magic when it is necessary. Understand the situation, then you'll recognize the power of the runes. Master, I'd like to wear the High Robe of Fire. You are not ready yet. Come back when you've learned more. I need more magic power. I can help you to increase your power. What use you make of it is your affair.
Have you enough of the potion for the great invocation of the sleeper? No, we still have to collect much more. Our mind crawler hunting units are in action day and night. Let me pass!
shouldn't believe everything you hear. Very probably right. As long as I'm not in the world, it was obvious that there would be trouble ahead. I started thinking you up ages ago. That's really not Shouldn't my problem. Everything you hear. I've come to collect my daily ration. Here, take it! Three of the Northern Dark. But don't smoke them all at once. What do you want? I found the book. Good work. You have all we need. I'll complete the preparations now. Where will the invocation take place? Wait till nighttime. Then come to the temple courtyard. We will gather there to invoke the Almighty Sleeper. is now over. Through his immeasurable powers, the sleeper has led us to this place so we can witness his awakening. The artifact he showed us in a vision will focus our spiritual powers. Unite your thoughts so the sleeper will hear our prayers, for his is the path that leads to freedom, and we are his chosen people! May the sleeper awaken! to show us the way to freedom. Yes, what about it? Was it the path to freedom? Silence! It is obvious. The path to freedom leads through the orcs. The sleeper has shown us a place. We must find it. Not far from here, there is an entry to an orc cave. We'll start searching there. The Sleeper will be with us. What does that mean? Shall we fight these monsters? I'll go with the Templars. You novices shall pray for us. Oh. 